Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate a few of the ankle tests with the subject positioned as so. Uh, this is my personal preference uh, for positioning when I do uh, especially anterior, posterior drawer, um, and the Taylor tilt or inversion test. So uh, I like it because it's just easier to get my hands positioned, they're relaxed because they have their knee draped over the side of the table and it allows me to get their foot into an appropriate position. Uh, especially for people who have like smaller hands like myself, uh, it just gives me better control. So for the anterior drawer, you're going to want to place your hand above the ankle joint, above the mortise joint because this is where we're trying to manipulate those ligaments or test those ligaments. So I have my hand positioned up here, and then for my other hand, I'm going to set it right here underneath the heel. This allows me to put my forearm underneath their foot so that their foot is nice and relaxed. I'm going to hold on to the heel. I'm going to distract slightly, hold the heel downwards, and then I'm going to glide the foot forward using the heel. So that's my anterior drawer there. And that is going to be testing our ATF ligament, which is going to be located right in the area here where there's this nice little divot referred to as the sinus tarsi. Usually when you're doing tests, uh, palpations, if you push right in this area here and the person has had an ATF ligament sprain, this will be quite painful. You also start to see the swelling happening right here in this little spot. So we're testing the ATF ligament. With the posterior drawer, you're going to want to do have almost the exact same hand placement, and we're going to distract and translate the heel backwards. And that's going to be your posterior drawer, testing the PTF back here. Remember that is an extremely rare ankle sprain, rarely ever happens, but that is the test for the posterior drawer. For our inversion stress test, um, or also referred to as Taylor tilt in your textbook, that's going to be for the CF ligament, it's right along here. And so if we suspect that ligament and we want to test that one, we're going to have the same hand positioning here, and we're going to rotate the foot into a more inverted position, like such, putting stress on that CF ligament.